Former industrial site along the Buffalo River now being transformed into a Buffalo hotspot, an area that's primed for future waterfront development. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jason Grenauer is live tonight at Riverworks. Jason. Riverworks officials called this piece of land where I'm standing right now no man's land. And just about a year and a half ago, it was exactly that. Nothing down here but a bunch of rubble, some steel, and a couple of grain elevators. But yet tonight, in the middle of the dead of winter here in western New York, a few hundred people came out here to watch a roller derby match. A packed house at Riverworks tonight for the debut of a roller derby along the Buffalo River. As the Queen City Roller Girls held their first match at their new home. Our very first meeting, we were like, I wonder if we'll ever get big enough when we'll be downtown on the waterfront. And now here we are. It's crazy. The suicidal saucies and the Nickel City knockouts battled under a semi finished roof as work on the project continues. We, uh, we expect it to be further along than we are, but uh, we, we got to the point where we're semi enclosed, we're semi heated. Uh, we're going to be back out here next week, uh, next Friday with the, with the roller girls. Uh, there'll be a lot more improvements uh, in that. Uh, but between now and then, things are happening very quickly. And in two weeks, the venue switches from wheels and concrete to blades and ice for the Labatt Pond Hockey Tournament. We're we were fighting the ice last year to get that going. That's perfect. And then everything out there is completely done. Now we're uh, fighting the clock to get the inside space done. And it's going to be a much bigger event this year. And while far from decided, Riverworks could have quite the neighbor in the next few years. Ohio Street, just across the river, is a finalist in ACOM's list of potential new Bills Stadium sites. We'd love to see the stadium come downtown. We think any of the sites that are within the zone of those sites that they have picked would be great for the city. It would be great for all of downtown. Everything that's happening, and it would certainly be great for for Riverworks to be to be having that, that kind of proximity to the stadium. Now, Swift says everything is pointing as of right now to a March grand opening here at Riverworks. That would include the restaurant, the brewery, the beer garden, the concert venue, and more. As for the stadium, he tells me he understands there are still plenty of decisions to be made before any final decision is made or reached. But he would welcome a brand new and very large neighbor right across the other side of the river. Reporting live downtown, Jason Grenauer, 7 Eyewitness News.